today we're going to be working on this Mac Plus. Now a lot of you have seen this. This is a very artistic Mac Plus. There's a long story to it and it makes it one of a kind. It's not a prototype but it definitely it's the only one on planet Earth that looks like this as well as the keyboard and the mouse. So what we're going to do is we've done many 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 upgrades of this thing. We added a diode to give it self-termination power so it powers the blue SCSI that's attached on the back of it. The other thing we've done is we have the blue SCSI so that way we have the benefit of having a hard drive that was never made for it. Uh, we did a floppy rebuild in terms of we did reconditioning, replaced the gear, that thing works fantastic now. And the last upgrade we've been doing is putting Ron's TTL board in it. And that's this right here. But there was an issue that we found out when we were trying to and put this board in and it kind of blew the IC chip up there, but that was by design. So anyway, uh, when we get the next revision of the board, Ron and me will be working on them and we're gonna get this uh, TTL upgrade. So eventually what we can do is we'll have another board that that plugs into and that will allow us to do the VGA to HDMI and that'll be pretty neat on a modern monitor. So looking forward to that. But getting back to this, I have had one problem with this and the B key does not like to work. Now I tried cleaning it with alcohol. It did work for a little bit, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's just the contacts are really very dirty on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna deox it and get the contacts a lot cleaner and hopefully that will resolve the problem. Other than that, the keyboard works perfectly. The number pad works great and the keyboard works fantastic. It's just that one key, it does not wanna work. But when it was wet with the alcohol, uh, it would repeat the B. So I know the switch is actually making physical contact. I just think that it's just the dirty contacts on it. So that's what we're gonna do. This is not gonna be a very lengthy video. We're just gonna basically take the keyboard apart, deox it, we'll power it up, and we'll see how that works. And sorry for the pattern on the screen. Uh, even though this is an iPhone 13 Pro Max, it still doesn't sync because this is at such a low refresh rate on this computer. I have it on Teach Text, and I'll show you what the issue is. So if I type the B key, nothing happens. All the other keys work fine. And we'll go, so the N key works, B key works, but the B, not very happy. All the other keys work fine. Okay, all the numbers, all that stuff works fine. But yeah, so anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the keyboard apart and deox it, and let's hope that that fixed the problem. All right, so I'm just gonna take the screws out of it here. And this thing actually comes apart pretty quick. And I wanna be able to uh, take it apart, so that way when we put the deox on it, uh, we can kind of wipe the mess up. We don't want it all in the bottom of the plastic case here. And normally I would use my little electric screwdriver, but it is charging right now. I haven't charged it for a long time. So anyway, yeah, so uh, we're just gonna take this apart. And I hope everybody had a wonderful 4th of July. I had a live stream, I invited a lot of my YouTube friends, and we all did random projects, and we had a pretty pretty good turnout as far as people joining in. And I put links on that live stream of their channels, so if you wanna give their channel a like, subscribe to them, I'd really appreciate it. They have some very, very interesting stuff. So this is the, uh, the actual color of it here. It's the uh, platinum color, and but you can't tell it because of all the uh, the paint on it here. And this is basically uh, the type of paint that's on here is like if you were doing an oil painting. It's like an oil, uh, what they call cold paint, and that's what it is. Uh, this will come off pretty easy if one were to do it because there's a couple of areas on the front of the case that I wanted to show like the Apple logo and the Mac Plus and I cleaned that off that come off pretty easy actually. 
So anyway, we're gonna lay this over here. And uh, in case you've never seen the uh, one of these, and here's the front bezel here, same thing. It's all painted up to match the Mac Plus. And this is the uh, what the keyboard looks like. Now this is an original keyboard for this machine. And that's, uh, you can see the big old honking components on here. And it probably could do with a little retro writing and maybe we'll do that here at some point. But right now, you can see that it's a Mitsubishi and those are the type of switches in it too, the op switches. Um, so that's the Mitsubishi board. Gives you the Apple computer date there, when it was manufactured there. And right there's the Mitsubishi, right down there. And it gives you all the info. So, and actually, you can still get these switches. There's actually a couple sites. You can still get these replacement switches, which is very encouraging. So anyway, what we're gonna do, I don't actually have a key cap puller. We're just going to, and this is a rubber silicone mat, so we don't have to worry about any static. But what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, take the B key off of it here. And unfortunately, like I said, I do not have a um, key cap puller. So what I'm gonna do is not the best thing in the world, but we're just gonna kind of use our screwdriver knife here and just kind of pop it off. I've done this before. I don't really, I don't really like doing it this way, but we'll get it off because you don't want to, you do not want to break the break the switch here. Actually, uh, I have something better that'll work here, so that way we don't mess the switch up here. We'll just see if we can get this guy in here. And, uh, okay, so we got the B key off of it there, and that's what it looks like. There's your out switch, and this keyboard is pretty dirty on the inside. Like I said, one day we're gonna take this apart and clean it, but right now I just want to get this B key uh, working here. And this is actually, these switches are actually soldered on the board. So really the only way you're going to get this part off is if you unsoldered everything, uh, you take these screws out here and then a whole plate would come off. But this whole, these out switches are all soldered down on here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get some deox in it. And this is what the, uh, for people that's never seen one of these keyboards apart here, uh, this is what it looks like on the inside and it sits on her and it's really anchored on her really good. So really a key cap puller is the best thing. Um, like I said, I was just, I wound up using this, which is not the best method because you got to kind of with your finger, you got to kind of pry it up at the same time so you don't break it. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to get some deox on it, and we'll see how that works. And this stuff works great, it's just messy. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of cycle it here. And I'm not worried about getting too much in there. There we go. Just Cycle it, let it get in there, let it work itself in there, get on those contacts and clean those contacts up. And I might be able to get it, uh, let's see where it goes down to the board here. Let's see, I might be able to get it down here too. Let me see if I can spray it down in there. I actually sprayed it on the inner, on, in between the uh, keyboard there too. And uh, this is uh, non-conductive, so, um, but you don't want to have it just drip and you want to dry it off a little bit there too. So I'm going to get uh, some paper towels here. cleaned up here. And like I said, I'm just cleaning the one. I mean, to do it right, I'd need to pull all these keys off 
and then that way I could do a good cleaning on it and do a good contact cleaning. But you can kind of see right here the switches here on the inside there, and they're, they're uh, hopefully I was able to get some of that uh, deox inside that switch there on that one side there. But I'm not going to put this back in the case. I will plug it in, and we'll see if that fixed the issue. And I'm out of canned airs because I always like to use canned air to kind of blow things out here, but it's sat long enough we can do it. And I'm not going to put the key back on it yet either, so let's, uh, we're going to get all hooked back up here and then uh, I'll resume the video. Okay, so we got this thing powered back up here and we got the keyboard hooked up, so let's see what happens here. So let's get back into our program here. And we're going to go to uh, Teach Text. There we go. All right. Well, let's see if it works. Let's see, here's V. Oh, look, B key's working. Yay, that fixed it. Dirty contacts. Oh, I'm so glad that fixed it. I didn't want to have to replace the switch. Sweet. All right, look at that. Boy, we can all kinds of, we'll just uh, go through and. Yeah, and I'm gonna work in there. It looks really good. B again, in that, All right, good. All right, we are working. Sweet, okay, great. Like I said, I knew this was gonna be a quick fix. So I will, uh, take and put this thing back together here. Okay, so we're all back together and we're just booting this back up. We're gonna go into the Rominator. I'm just holding down on the R key here. And as soon as that pirate comes up, we'll hold down on the R key. There we go. And now we're going into the Rominator. And that Rominator disc boots up super, super quick. Much faster than the blue SCSI. I'm not complaining, but that's just the way it works on that. So yeah, so let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Now, the cool thing about this Rominator, and again, I apologize for that strobing effect here, okay? But the nice thing about this thing is we can do all kinds of cool stuff. We can actually go in and change the startup sound on this. It has the tink sound after you boot into it but you have a whole host of sounds we can do a quadra sound many different mac sounds and we can actually even go into the rom and make that sound full length like a 1.6 seconds right now it's on 0.66 of a second so you just get just like a, a little bit of the sound but you could get the full sound if you modify it you can also change the startup icons on it. So your Happy Mac, there's all kinds of different Mac uh, things you can put on it. So pretty cool. So I'm in the process of learning how to do that. I've got the software downloaded. I just need to talk to some people and figure out how to get it on my SCSI drive so we can uh, take advantage of it. And it's got the programmer already on it, which is really cool. All right, so very good. So yes, so our B key works. That's good. That was an easy fix. I'm very happy about that. And like I said, this thing works great. And we will shut it down here. And it's safe to turn off our Macintosh and it is off. So I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and click that notification bell. I really appreciate it. And I want to send a big thanks out to all my Patreon people. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. If you wish to join, just there's a link right there. Just click it in the description. It'll take you right there. I also have a spring store. I got all kinds of cool cups and shirts. And also I'm going to have some stickers going out to my Patreon members. I'm still working on them. And that's going to be pretty neat. And you can only get them if you're a Patreon member. And you get that at all levels. All right. Whether you subscribe for a dollar, three dollars, or five dollars, you still get a sticker. I'll send you one. Probably another month I should have them. Other than that, 
thank you very much, guys. So our next thing, like I said, we're going to be doing, we'll do a live stream on this as far as uh, getting the different sounds on it. I think that would be pretty cool. I'm going to try to get a little different camera so maybe we can work with it a little bit. And of course the other thing is we're working on that TTL board so that'll be a nice little thing that we can actually, whatever we see on here, we can export it to another monitor which will be fantastic. I can hardly wait to get that done. I'm chomping at the bit to get that done there. So anyway guys, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.